So another glorious day up here at the hill. We've moved the chickens back into the, the backyard. Uh, I'm going to get over into the veggie patch and run the cultivator. As you can see over there, we've made some hoop, ne hoop netting and put some bird netting on. We've got some veggies starting to go there and we're going to keep the chooks out. So this is a quick video just to intro in to seeing that the chickens are in the backyard. Got a few bits and pieces from the old pool that was around there and look, showing you how well the grass has come back. This is just over winter. And uh, yeah, I'll get on to doing some cultivating and while the weather's nice and continue on from that. So considering all the rain we've had, the ground's actually come up really, really well. I was expecting it to be more clumpy. Um, but no, it's come up really, really fine. This is prepared for, for growing now. Hopefully, I may get another run over it. It's been a funny October here and pretty wet. A lot of rain. We should have had things in the ground by now already and it hasn't happened, so... That, that pipe just there is from past years. My neighbour who, he used to grow like huge gigantic pumpkins. I'll see if I can get a photo of them and stick them in here. But uh, yeah, now this patch is to go. I've got a little patch over the back there Got some uh, Brussels sprouts and I'm just waiting for them to grow some seeds, which they are starting to do. I'll come over and show you some while I'm here. Uh, yeah, we've got neighbours first. Uh, spuds are starting to come up, so should have spuds before Christmas. Haven't looked at my ones across the road, but these are the Brussels sprouts, the bees. You can see those bees, there's bees, if you listen, yeah, the bees are getting into them, the bees are loving them, but these here, these are the actual pods, so it's hard to see, but they're the actual seed pods, so we're letting those go to seed and get, it, get some pods out, I'm about to chop all this section up here, I'm going to give that a hoe in. 
their Swedes and they're going to seed too. Uh, if I get over closer, you'll be able to see pods here are starting. So, got some beetroots left over. As you can see, the top of those, they're starting to, they're, they're going to go to seed. They're going to start bolting soon. There's, there still is beetroot in the ground. Um, if I was to, you know, that's good beetroot. They're good sized beetroots. So, but we're letting some go to seed. Good sized beetroot. And uh, some onion there going to seed. But we'll hoe all this in. And this is our job for today. Neighbours garlic's coming along nice. It actually needs a scrap, a scrap up. Uh, he hasn't been too well. Might get into the hothouse later and do a, a quick video on all our seedlings that are coming up. But yeah, the ground is looking awesome. So, anyway, enjoy your weekend. And I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya.